So my dear uh, students and aspirants of uh, SSC JE, SSC JE, this is technical paper. Uh, I am Dr. Uh, G. Ramana. I am the chairman of Sai Medha Institutions. The Sai Medha, since from last uh, more than two decades, providing coaching for various competitive examinations like GATE, ESE, uh, PSU, Railways, Staff Selection Commission, AP Transco, Zenco, like that various competitive BSNL, JTO, for many examination, Sai Medha is providing coaching. And we got already a first rank three times in the gate examination as well as some of my students are working in railway department as engineering service officers. Today our brief session is the how the uh, SSC JE exam pattern, what is the syllabus weightage, how this is different from the various examinations, what is the plan of action required based on those things. I am going to give a information for you. It's a very good opportunity. Even in the period of COVID, we got a notification. Then it is a very right time to prepare. Student can stay in home and he can prepare better. He will get the good results. Today there are online different sources. Once if you subscribe this video and uh, follow the Sai Medha, you can get the future examinations also. In the SSE modal examinations, for every branch, for civil, mechanical, electrical, for various branches, we are going to conduct the examinations. That to free of cost, you need not pay anything. For that, you can get the alerts, so that try to subscribe it. First, uh, you can subscribe, you will have a good benefits in the, uh, this examination pack. Now, coming to this uh, paper 1 and uh, paper 2, I think you know. In the paper 1, 1 is uh, general awareness for 50 marks, general intelligence and reasoning aptitude is for 50 marks, as well as engineering subject is for 100 marks. Sir, I think you know very well the eligible criteria for this SSE JE is you are from the BTEC or B, Bachelor of Technology or Bachelor of Engineering, or maybe Diploma. Diploma students are eligible to write this exam and engineering students also eligible to write this exam. But in the diploma students, for some specific jobs, they are asking some experience. For some departments, you don't require any experience. You are a fresher, you can apply for your job. But how the standard of question paper? Generally what happens is, if the student is BTEC, he may have some preparation about the gate exam. He may have some idea about the gate exam. But the gate examination preparation methodology and the how the papers questions in the gate examination, as per my experience, there is a lot of difference. There is a lot of difference between this SSE JE exam to your gate examination. This question paper just above that, just little bit above the diploma standard and a lot of, lot of below standard for the gate examination because gate is entirely different. Even if you are attending for gate coaching, that information may not be useful, <coughs> sorry, even 30 to 40 percent. Don't depend upon that one. This pattern is different. Only thing is, only thing is one of the important danger is you have one fourth of mark. Negative marking. <coughs> one fourth of negative marking. That is 0.25 marks is negative. This is only the important point you have to keep it in mind. If you are able to overcome this problem, automatically you can get the appointment or of course after the selection of the paper 2 the paper 2 if you success then automatically you get the appointment sir how can i overcome this negative marking sir how can no other solution only solution is practice you should not have any confusion while attempting the answer 
generally four options are available in the multiple choice questions. In normal, what happened? Out of four, student about the two answers, they don't think also. Only two answers may be confusion, whether this or this, this or this. They are unable to find. If you are having a perfect preparation, even such a confusion will not take place. So, confidently you prepare first and then try to attempt the more examinations, more examinations. For that examinations, you can depend upon our Sai Medha Institute. And uh, Sai Medha Institute is providing video lectures, recorded video classes, recorded video classes for all the branches, civil engineering, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering. Of course, that is very useful videos as per your SSC preparation is concerned. But why I am telling the paper is different from uh, our gate exam to this examination. The main important is, see here, in the case of civil engineering, you take civil engineering, if you take fluid mechanics, for example, this fluid mechanics, this is a fluid mechanics, FM I written here, fluid mechanics. The fluid mechanics have a very, very, very good weightage. Lot of weightage for this subject, but if you see, only 10% weightage is there for the SACJE. This is the analysis from the last two several examinations. Approximate percentage I written, approximate percentage I written based on the previous question papers. Just if you verify for civil engineering, the civil engineering, the most highest uh, percentage sharing is building materials. Building materials. I think you have to know why the building material is very good weightage because where you are doing the work in the department, they need this type of knowledge. That's why the questions are framing on the building material. I think you studied building material. What is that subject size? Very narrow, very narrow subject size. If you want to read, uh, even if you take RCC, RCC is a very bigger subject than the building material. So see, 23 percentage of weight is approximately 23 percent. One fourth of syllabus. Such a important. So you should have a proper plan. If you have syllabus, just every day, your syllabus should be on your screen. While just, just to wake up in the morning, your prepare, preparation is started for SSE day, you have to see the some board. Wow, ah, this topic is over. Casting is over. Next, this topic is over. How many questions I attempted? What are the examinations? You should have a plan. For that plan, I am giving here now. That plan I am giving now. See, for the civil engineering, the building materials we have 23 to 25 percent of the weightage. Coming to the RCC, 12 to 13 percent may not be exactly sometimes 12.5, 13, 12.1, something like that. Approximate percentage RCC. And then theory of structure, almost 11 to 12 percent it is. And uh, survey, surveying is also very small subject, now. it is not a big subject. There you got 10.2%, uh, 10 percent approximately. Fluid mechanics is a bigger subject, but you can see only 10 percent of weightage. So, this is having 20 to 12 to 13 percent, 11 to this one, this one, this one. Almost remaining subjects, if you see, these subjects together may not have 20 percent. Together, I am talking about this one. 5 and 10, 24. This is 14 and 10, 24. Remaining all these things are having 75 percent. So that where, what subject we have to concentrate is a very, very important thing. Very, very important thing. Is it okay? Because in other examinations, weightage is not like that. I told you already. Because the question paper for the gate examination is uh, around 80 to 90 percent all are problems. That problems also different. There are multiple choice questions, fill up the blanks, multiple uh, uh, selective answers are there. Lot of difficulties there. Such a difficulty you cannot face. You are not going to face in our SSC examination. You can feel more comfortable for this one. You can feel more comfortable. The questions are mostly not in the problematic, theory oriented questions, small formula based questions. It is not a lengthy questions. So that you have the uh, proper idea. Easily you can get it here. Before examination, if you have a proper plan, easily you can get it with this plan. 
where to concentrate, what subject I have to concentrate, what are the materials I have to prepare, like that. This is about the civil engineering. So what about mechanical engineering, coming to the mechanical engineering. I told you just now, even in the civil engineering we have a fluid mechanics as well as in mechanical engineering also fluid mechanics, slight difference will be there, slight difference will be there. But in the mechanical engineering, if you observe, 30% of the syllabus is from the fluid mechanics. How oh, see it is? One third, approximately one third of uh, weightage will come from the fluid mechanics. So, mechanical engineer first preparation must be concentration on the fluid mechanics. And coming to the power plants, what are the turbines, steam, steam turbines, hydraulic turbines, what turbines we are using, where, what is the draft tube, what is pen stocks, and such a power plant equipment, in thermal power plant, nuclear power plant equipments, that is very normal things, you can score better. And strength of material, these are also very, very beautiful subjects, sometimes it may be more than 11% also, but this is the past record I am telling. So if you observe here, thermodynamics, thermodynamics, theory of missions, IC engines, R and AC, these are all, I think, almost all thermal, IC engines, RAC, these are all come under the thermal engineering part. This thermal engineering part around 30%, fluid mechanics is 30%, together 60%, power plant is 10%, set up it is 10%, remaining all are will give the remaining percentage like it. Production you see, production is a big subject, it is a big subject, it is a theory subject, but the weightage is less, only 9%. Mission design, this is one of the toughest subjects in our uh, gate examination. But the weight is for SSC only 2 per 6 percent. It should be an additional preparation for you. And last heat transformer all together may be having 2.5 percent, not more than that. So, this is what the weight is for the mechanical engineering. It is the weight is for mechanical engineering. So, coming to the other one, what is this electrical engineering? This is electrical engineering. The session deals with electrical engineering. Of course, in electrical engineering, you just verify electrical circuits itself, electrical circuits itself, almost 32%, 32%. So, in the gate examination, we call network analysis. Network analysis is entirely different from the electrical circuits. The reason is, in the network analysis, you are going to talk about the theorems, transients, two-port network, all these things. But here it is not like that. Here what is there? Basic Ohm's law, heating effects, electrostatic effects, electromagnetic effects, batteries. Such a fundamental things will come in the electrical circuit. AC fundamentals, RMS values, average values. Even if you are prepared for gate examination, but you need a separate preparation for SSE. You need a separate preparation for SSC. Any type of help, if you want, you just give a comment on that. My people will respond for you. Whatever the required for you, my people will respond. But before that, you try to subscribe. Then only you will get. What is, you are not spending any money for subscription. Just you are liking the video. Subscribe it. What happened? You are getting notifications. It is a technical, technical institute. You are a technical people. Always you are getting benefit. It's not a cinema field or some other any other field. It is only educational channel. So that automatically you need education. So that I think you can get it by subscribing. Subscribing it. And uh, missions. Electrical missions. Having 25%. See, in the electrical engineering, lot of subjects are there. Power electronics is there. Power system is there. Control system. So many subjects are there. But out of that, you see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 only. Only six subjects, only six subjects. If you concentrate on these subjects, you can score more than 80% of marks. Of course, it is 100%. There may be human errors. That's why I am telling more than 80%. Now, coming to this one, electrical machines to 25%. Measurements. Measurements are very simple. They are volt meter, amp meter, series connection, parallel connection, shunt to uh, series combination, energy meter, what measurement will be there. Very, very simple and theory questions. You can have a very good scoring subject. Power system is there. In the power system, what happens is, 
the power system only generation transmission distribution you don't have fault analysis you don't have load flows analysis you don't have the syllabus of stability uh, that is an analysis part but here not analysis simple questions insulator what insulator are you using cable what cable is using what type of cables are there what type of insulators are there like that uh, very very simple questions you can get it as i am advising you the standard of the question you have to know don't go for very high standard don't prepare very low standard moderate standard you need that is what i am telling you and uh, utilization and uh, estimation utilization estimation lamps are there what type of lamps we are using incandescent lamp uh, fluorescent lamp sodium vapor lamp mercury vapor lamp what are the present lamps we are in what is their life like that simple uh, you can get the utilization estimation is not a big subject there is no area of questions in the estimation in the utilization the area of questions will be there basic electronics like diodes transistors fets field effect transistor bzt diode oscillator feedback all these six fundamentals you can get about 8% see we have only one subject is 33% machines is 25% here you got 55% on the syllabus 55% and uh, power system this one is 26% almost uh, your paper is over here but don't forget other subjects also because these all are theory subjects nothing is complicated you need a plan any type of suggestions you want just you send a comment uh, on our uh, channel just we are going to respond for you coming to this is about the technical paper and uh, general awareness general intelligence and reasoning i think reasoning is not a big task for you as a reasoning aptitude you are uh, the bank standard bank examination standard you need to prepare aptitude and reasoning general intelligence that is all mathematical paper like that i think you know very well i understood for the general awareness next uh, upcoming videos another teacher is going to give the general awareness in detail structure how the geography importance uh, what are the area geography we have to prepare and uh, which subject the more weightage is there general knowledge current affairs general knowledge and current, current affairs together around 30 percent geography 13 to 15 percent like that he is an expert in the general studies he is going to give some videos regarding this one he will give the videos regarding this one follow the sequence automatically entire things you will get the most important thing is the coming days we are going to uh, conduct a uh, model exams for the SSC JE. Try to attempt that examinations. We will give the model examination. The examinations prepared by the very good experts. Very good experts. They are having very good experience in the field of technical. And also separate faculty for aptitude and reasoning. They, they talk for many batches for the banking exam, railway examination. Those type of teachers will play. I no doubt you will get some knowledge from our question papers our question paper okay thank you all the best watch for the next video like the video bye